afternoon. I'm Lynn and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. Today we're going to head over to one of our hay fields down the road. Um, Arnie's working down there and I've heard rumors that we got a really nice crop going there. So come on, let's go have a look. So today I've gone to see what Arnie's doing in the next hay field down the road and we decided to bring another dog with us so they can each have a turn at being special. Are you feeling special, Max? Max, are you feeling a little special? Are you feeling a little car sick tail? Come on out. There you go. So this is a different field than we were in the other day. And he's cut it down and he's just raking it now. It's almost done raking. And he's hoping to get it bailed today. While the rain is staying away, we may as well take advantage of it and get the hay off while we can. But we still desperately need the rain. Who's that, Max? It was a problem because I didn't, I was a, the, the wind rows were so high I didn't know where to get over to get out of your way. Oh. But right here it seemed a little bit thinner, but I don't. Max, do you have to have a dump in the hay? Really? The whole field? You still used to be twice as thick before, but you all died everything. Oh, it looks, still looks like good. there's a lot there. A good quality. It's not poor, see? Yeah. Max just loves to run ahead of the tractor. Good boy. This field's all right. We're going to head back and get the baler now. We're back at the other farm for baling. Plus, coffee break. And as a bonus, cookie break. Those are dead elm trees in the background. Sad, we're losing all 
the trees, the elm trees are all dying. And now the ash trees are really taking a beating too. And Max is with us. I think he smells the coffee. That's right. I recognize the cookie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. I don't need a cookie. Babe. Well, you may as well take it. It's the last one. It's probably stale. Okay, I'll eat it. Okay, go ahead. You do it all the time. Yeah, for it. Well, you want to see something unique? What? It can be turn out bad, but it's there now. I don't want to see anything bad. It's a nest for the maladies. I don't want to see it. Okay. Is it destroyed? No. Nope. Okay. It's beside the bale. I'm worried about the seagulls. Can they pick it out? Yeah. But I covered it up with hay. Okay. With dry hay. I'm not going to bale that section. Is she going to recognize it with the hay She down? will. She came back once already. Oh, okay. But she doesn't like me coming around the field. But she's got about uh, 12 eggs in that little nest. See, uh, Lauren Fisher over here has an incubator. No. And when he finds the turkey eggs and stuff in the fields, he picks them up and puts them home in the incubator. Hmm. He has his own ducks and everything. Well, I don't think you're allowed to take wild ducks, but hopefully, hopefully they won't die. So I guess I'll take you on a tour around this farm here that we own, and we'll head on over to see those duck eggs. We're just heading around the field he's working on and we're going to go and see that duck nest that he found. That's the problem when you're cutting down hay fields. You can't see what's in the hay. And unfortunately, at this time of year, there are sometimes birds nesting in there. And yeah, the, the good thing is that He's cutting hay kind of early because when it's drier and later in the season, it seems like the seagulls follow the tractors everywhere around the fields and the seagulls find everything like all the little dead mice or injured mice that are in the fields, the bird eggs and stuff like that and they'll, they'll just dive bomb it. But 
I'm looking out here and I don't see any seagulls today. So hopefully mom will be able to sit on those eggs and get them hatched as quickly as possible and get them out of here. And I guess she's going to go down to the ditch because there's a little stream there and she'll take the babies there. But yeah, that is one of the bad things. A good thing here is the elm trees are dying, but this one is still alive. And they're just beautiful, gorgeous trees, I think. Okay, let's keep going. So this field is situated on the street where our home farm is, but it goes road to road. So this, this field exits onto our road where the house is, but at the other end here, we'll be coming to the fall barley field and that has, um, road frontage on another road as well. So this is the back portion that we left hay. The front portion we put to the fall barley. It's the one with the nice holes in them when that are flooded in the spring. So if I flip my camera over to the other side of the car, you can see the fall barley field right there with all the heads coming on it. It's doing remarkably well. Ducks must be around here somewhere. What did you say? I said the whole field was like this. 
before two years ago we had a winter kill in alfalfa. You can see there's a lot of alfalfa here. Stand beside it to show how tall this field is. Well, it's not, it's not actually, remember, remember, what I, remember what I talked about when, we, when it was cold? Uh, it's been cold all spring. And you, you know what cold does? It makes the hay thick. So it's actually not super tall. But it's super thick. But there's a lot of volume. And yeah. it's actually a lot better quality. Because it isn't all going to go really high to head to seed, eh? See, the alfalfa's not even blossom yet, eh? but the buds are in it. Okay, I'm going to show you the little uh, Okay, we just startled the mom. Unfo get, get the dog away. Unfortunately, we just startled the mom away. She was just sitting on the nest. We're going to leave this bale here because it might be a bit of protection for her. It's a mallard duck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven eggs. Can you see it? Yeah. So I put the hay around and along with some, well, she was right back on them. So. Yeah. She'll be fine. I'm going to leave all this hay. I might even leave the bale. Yeah, leave the bale. It might be added protection. Yeah, because the coyotes are going to find this night, maybe, eh? Uh, but, yeah. Nature is tough. She's right there behind that tree. Though. Yeah, but she just flew off when we walked here. Yeah, I was shocked she was on it. If I knew, we wouldn't have, wouldn't have walked over here, but she'll come back. Yeah, come back. Yeah, we got a little mouse running through the field. I don't know if you can see it. It's, it's, a, well, it's a shrew or whatever. How come Max is getting all the attention today? Because Ben had his day the other day. Today is Max's day. They behave better, don't they, when they're... Getting more loving than I am. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. Well, you think that barley field? Yeah, the bar that, that barley looks good. That land that we should be digging duck ponds in. Look at that. Arnie, I said to put the ponds where it's all where nothing grows. You can leave the barley part. Why would you grow spring barley? Yeah. You don't get crops that heavy in spring. Yeah. You in the car, hey? Come on. There you go. Good boy. The dogs do everything together, yep. but they really like to have their one-on-one -on -one time with us every now and then. So I've been rotating dogs just so that they can feel a little special each day. Here we are at the elm tree. They're practically all gone now. That's why I focus on this tree.
So that's basically a little farm tour. The road we live on is right at the end of this field here where you see the bushes growing up. And while me and Max were out at the hay field working, The other dogs were just chilling. Well, I thought you might be tired of a little too much hay today, so to end our day, I have to do nighttime chores again, so I gotta head back there and feed Linus his bottle. Oh my goodness. It's Linus's turn. Linus, are you hungry? Were you in the creep area? I saw you in there. You were in the creep area. Good boy. Come on out. Come on out. Have some milk too. Oh my goodness. You're like you're 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 like a super lamb. Let's go over here. I brought him over by the door here so we could see him. He's quite the feisty little fellow nowadays. You are. You are. And look at the muscle development on you, buddy. You are something special. You're like a super macho lamb now. Don't guzzle. What have I told you about guzzling? You get just too excited. And then you get choking. Here, have some more. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi. Oh, you're a good pussycat, too. Yes, you're a good pussycat, too. doing a great job, buddy. Oh my goodness, you are. So we always think of lambing as our most busy time, but hay season is extremely busy too. The only benefit to having the hay, doing hay is that we get to sleep at night. So it's not something we're doing all through the night. But during the day, we're just equally as busy as during lambing. Especially since we're trying to get the garden work done and um, selling sheep and all that stuff too, weaning sheep, shearing. Are you done? Okay. We got a collection of critters here. We got Benny. We got Katie. We got Tom. Buddy was here two seconds ago. And you guys too. You guys too are here. Shall we put you back now? Yes. Back to your mommy. And you, actually you can go back to eating your creep feed. I saw you in there. You're just like pigging out. Come on. There you go. Nothing weak and frail about him anymore. Of course.
course, everyone's upset because Arnie feeds grain. Ferdinand is so upset that he's attacking the fence over there. Ferdinand! Ferdinand, what are you up to? What are you doing? Don't make faces at me. It doesn't work. You don't get food any quicker. And we have Scotty here with us, too. Whole crew's here. Hi. Hi. You're so nice, General. Quincy, that's loud enough. Oh, it's going to be one of those loud nights. But Arnie's uh, collecting those hay bales and bringing them back to the yard because he wants to get wrapping. The February ewes are officially fed. Kicked all the hay in for them. So you can see that our wrap bale pile is steadily growing. And Arnie is in the process of bringing these bales out. Whoa, can you ever smell them? Super fresh, but there's a lot more alfalfa in these ones. And the sun's going down fast. There's Leonard. Hi, Leonard. Hi. You've turned into a beautiful boy, too. You really have. Do you think it would be easier if you ate on the ground instead of climbing on a fence? Easy does it, buddy. Here, get down. Get down there. Probably a lot easier to eat standing up properly. Yeah, that's yummy. Really yummy. I can see that you're really enjoying that one. Yeah, wag that little tail. Bar number two done. This is the February March lambs and the fall born Dorset lambs. They're all locked up. Hay's kicked in. Leonard's fed. Okay, these are the adult ewes. They're all in the actual barnyard. So I'm thinking I can probably just round them up and get them in the barn if they don't run back to the field. Come on, you guys. All of you in. Come on. That's it. These guys are all in the new pasture now. But they came in tonight all by themselves after their bad behavior a few nights ago where I had to run over a the whole farm to get them in basically. You guys are good today. Really good. I just quickly check the drinkers at night so that I can be sure they have a lot of water over the night. Hi girls, did you have a good day today?
How's the water look, Katie? Looks pretty good. Yeah, nice and clean, girls. Good night, everybody. This barn's locked up and safe for tonight. They got plenty of hay. The drinkers are clean. We'll say good night to this batch. Good night, girlies. Arnie's back with another two wagon loads of hay. So all we have to do now is make sure these guys are in safe and sound. I think Arnie just went back here to double check that they're all in. Oh my God, with um, Lynn, Lily, and Louie all gone, this place looks empty now. So quiet once they're fed. So that's this barn done too. All the barns got done really quickly compared to the other night. So it all depends on how well your sheep are behaving, how long nighttime chores take. But everybody was well behaved and came in the barn right away. So that was a good thing. So all the barns are done. The lights are off, they're all fed, they've all got clean water. Arnie's unloading hay. I gotta go wash this bottle here from Leonard. I believe Arnie intends on wrapping this hay tonight. It's about 9.30 at night right now. I'm going to wash the bottle and then go in for the night. So you're gonna say, oh, Lynn, Arnie works so much harder. Like, you're gonna leave him out there working by himself. But no, it's not quite like that. This could go in the everything's not black and white portion of my video yesterday. But at this time of night, I go in and work on the YouTube videos. So in about two hours from now, I'll have edited a video, uploaded it, answered all my comments, and then probably Arnie and I will be hitting the sack around the same time. <laughs> so yeah, nothing is ever what it really seems. And on that note, I'm gonna call it a day. It was another long day and I'm really tired now. Getting a little too old for this kind of stuff. It would be okay eight hour days, but these dawn till, till really not even dusk. It's way past dusk. <laughs> and now I'm going into work on the video. So they're long days, but 
to be honest, on most days, it's fun. And I'm glad to be doing it. And I don't know what we'd do without it. Maybe get a lot of rest. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed your tour of our other farm where we have the hay fields. And be sure to join us again tomorrow for the next episode at Utopia Farms. Bye for now.